Brandon, since you've I guess first of all, when you came back, how how did it feel getting back out there? And then since you've been back, how do you feel like you've progressed uh, on the floor? Um, it felt really good to get back out there. Um, my first game against Virginia just felt like a, you know it was a short bit of time. Um, but um, the days like leading up to the game and the weeks leading up to the game, I was um, staying in shape, trying to get in the best shape I could possible, uh, and playing shape um, to play the game. Um, when I first got out, that was a little uh, um, a little winded a little bit and. The game was moving too, a little too fast um, since I've been out for like almost a month or whatever. But um, I feel like every game um, leading up to from Virginia, I've just gotten better. I'm starting to get my feet up under me, my legs up under me. Um, so it's been uh, pretty good just to be out there um, playing and um, helping the team out um, um, in whatever way I can. I'm still um, ch- still trying to get my legs up under me, but um, I feel good. Brandon, when it comes to, to coming back, did the did the month break almost kind of give you a, a chance to look from the outside in and like, hey, this is this is what this team needs me to do. This is what I need to do to, to help myself and my team be successful. Yeah, um, um, me um, not playing for that month um, span just allowed me to um, see things from a different perspective. Um, you try to um, w- um, see things from um, from a player's perspective when I'm out there, but. Um, um, me playing on, um, watching from the sidelines was, was a different um, viewpoint. Um, it allowed me to see things that um, we were that, that we were doing and, um, and that, we, that we weren't doing. Um, it allowed me to see things that um, I can improve on um, from when I do get to um, start playing back again. Um, and then it allowed me to um, cut down on the things I was doing while I was playing. So um, that was good for me. What, what were some of those things that, that you noticed? Um, just um, crashing the boards harder. Um, I still have to. I still have some work to do with that. Um, just um, being more, being more active, um, being more vocal and stuff like that. Running the ho- running the floor harder, um, um, and on, on the offensive end, just really um, trying to space the floor, trying to give us um, give our team the best chance we can each time, each possession to score the ball. Um, not, so not really, uh, really trying not to uh, clog the paint up, um, allow um, our guards to drive and stuff like that, and just spread the floor out and spread teams out. Um, so um, just trying to. Um, say we get defensive rebound, just try to, you know what I'm saying, first uh, first and foremost get a rim run or whatever. And then um, if I don't get it or whatever, um, then just space out and then we just play from there. Coach Payne, when he was in here talking talking about Georgia Tech, he, the differences between when you guys played them first and now when you're going to see them again, um, they've kind of been playing better down the road, down these last few games. And he mentioned, one, their shots are starting to fall, and two, they've gotten a little bit smaller. When you watch them on film, what do you see from your perspective that's maybe made them a little bit better now than when you first saw them. Um, they're a lot more active. Um, they have a small, a small, a uh, smaller lineup, so um, I feel like they're trying to play with pace and play with speed. Um, and they're trying to um, really um, attack switches. I, I guess um, we're a pretty, a pretty long and athletic team, um, so we've been um, preparing um, um, every day in practice for that. Um, so really, just trying to focus in on um, the, um, their. Uh, when they go small ball, try to box out. They have um, a lot of active guys. Um, the last game we played, they had like 11 offensive rebounds. So we're gonna try to we're gonna um, cut down on that um, and, um, and hit them hard and um, box out um, with force, um, so we can come cut down the second chance points. Um, you're just talking about you know uh, focusing on you know f- uh, focusing on a rebounding. Um, when you get a chance to team or uh, to play against a team like Duke and, you know, like they're top in the ACC and that rebounding, and then you go back and you see the film and coach is saying that he's, you know, he's just he's just uh, showing you guys, like, the places where, you know, you could be better. How does that – how does it help you, you know, uh, heading into the next game, just seeing the way that they were able to operate? Um, really just um, him um, – just listen to him on um, his viewpoints on, on how to rebound better, um, try to get up under the, um, our opponent and, and wedge him out. Um, is really um, we really have to take take into account when rebounding um, on the offensive end um, and on the defensive end we have to hit somebody. Um, Georgia Tech is pretty athletic and um, Duke is pretty athletic and they're big t- as well. Um, so uh, Georgia Tech is a little bit different team, but they're also um, very um, very very active. Um, so we have to um, play with precision when, we, when we're boxing out and stuff like that, and um, go and go hard to the rim um, every single time um, and hit somebody. Um, because sometimes we're not going to um, out-jump them or out-athlete them. Um, they have some pretty good athletes, so we just have to um, do what we're trained to do, um, and I think we'll be fine.
Um, the game at Duke was a big one for L, and he obviously, you know, I mean, played like it. But um, was there anything that you noticed that he said or did uh, during the road trip where you could kind of get like an idea of just how much it meant to him to come home and play at this court? Um, I mean, I feel like where he's from, that, that's where uh, Duke is at, and obviously it's a big, it's a big, uh, it was a big game for us. It's uh, a prime time game, um, any um, a national a televised game. Um, so, and he's been doing it um, all season. So. Uh, we always expect him to perform at that level, no matter who we're playing, no matter if it's um, anybody we're playing. Um, he always has the same mindset um, to come in and do what he does. Um, and um, that game, it just so happened um, to be a nat uh, my national televised game on ESPN um, against Duke. Um, and then he got going early, and then um, they didn't really <clears throat> have an answer for him. And um, no, uh, no team really has an answer for him. Um, so we just try to. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, he does what he does every single game. Um, so um, I don't. Uh, there's um, there's nobody um, really. Um, I feel like in the in the league or in the country for that matter um, that can um, stop him when he uh, puts his mind to it. Um, and then it just um, made it even better when he was playing at home, um, where he's from, and playing against Duke.